morning people to today's high protein full day of eating. As always, I'm gonna make some high protein delicious meals for you guys to try out. Today we're gonna go with one of my other staples I like having for breakfast with bacon medallions, some form of egg whites. So typically I would embed the bacon and cheese into the omelette but for being honest I was tracking and adding the stuff in my fitness bar and I wasn't paying attention and the egg cooked so um, so yeah I'm just going to add them on top of it. Where's my knife? Now that's a knife. And if you want it to like melt even easier if you have like a lid you can just do that and the steam within it will still melt the cheese. And what I'm actually going to add which I wasn't planning to is I'm gonna have one of my newfound love for the whole wheat bagels. I'm gonna have a full one with some butter. If you didn't watch my video, these bagels are my now my favorite. They taste better than the chive one to me personally. They're very soft on the inside, surprisingly, even though they're whole wheat. I thought they'd be dry and crusty on the inside, but being honest, the inside is very, very moist. Here is the first meal. We got bagel toast, we got four slices of bacon and egg and cheese omelette. This should roughly come up to just under around 500 calories. In terms of protein, we should definitely be looking at at least 50 grams. Around 13 grams of protein from the egg whites. The bacon is roughly, I think, around 15 to 20 grams. And the bagel itself is 10 grams. And that is the benefit of having similar foods like this very often and tracking it on a day-to-day -day basis. I can look at things and remember the protein. Before I forget, I'm still taking my creatine. As you can see, it's almost gone down. I need to order some more soon, actually. But I do have the basic one in powder form in my kitchen as well. But I've been taking the tablets just because it's just sometimes easier just to net back four tablets than, you know, mix that into a drink and taste it. Right, folks, we're now walking to the store. Brought myself a protein bar to have with me because the walk we're going on is roughly going to be around 70 80 minutes because we're walking all the way to a little which is around 25 minutes from my house but then we're not going straight back to my house we're going to another store because i want to go and get my duck eggs so hopefully they're in stock so yeah we're doing like a huge circle around my ends but yeah if you haven't tried these yet definitely recommend them they are the white chocolate peanut uh, protein bars Alright folks, I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. I often eat random slices of this ham since I found it at Lidl. It tastes really, really good. Hamon Serrano. Alright folks, we are back for the next meal. What we're going to go for is, we was going to have salmon, prawns and some Japanese noodles, which is fire. I'm going to put it in a full day bean soon. However, like an idiot, I totally forgot to buy the prawns. So today what I'm going to go for is some beef mince and we are going to go with having some rice. You really, I don't think you ever see me eat rice on this channel because I'm not a massive fan of it. But these VT rice taste delicious. I always go for the, <laughs> I was about to say Thai jasmine. I always go for the Thai jasmine rice. based on the ingredients you realize what I'm cooking next up we're adding something that's not essential but I like it especially when using that rice it is sweet soy sauce it tastes really good then next up we're gonna heat the wrap to heat the wrap you can either put it in the microwave or just very simply just by now, if you haven't gathered it, we are making burritos. Burrito. And as for the cheese, um, I specifically have changed to the four cheese um, rather than that low calorie one you saw earlier in the video. Purely because I like using this for burritos. I can taste the difference when I use it then. Whereas in my omelets, if I'm being honest, it tastes more or less the same to me anyway. So typically, if we were going for less calories, what I would do is just have one of them in a wrap. And then this here, I would just have on the side and eat it without a wrap though, just to save the calories, because per tortilla is around 180 calories. We have now made a successful burrito, nice and good. And yeah, and that's just one of them. The macros you're gonna see on the screen is for two of these, because I am gonna have two. 
and this is a high calorie meal. We're gonna to be touching over 800 calories easily. So I'm gonna finish this meal right now. Carry on watching Inuyasha. I'm currently watching that anime because I've finished Demon Slayer. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this meal now and I'll come back to you guys for the next one. So in terms of the macros and calories of that meal, it roughly will be around 900 to 1000 calories because there's loads of ingredients and loads of carb sources in it because we've got the, the pack of rice, which is enough by itself to be honest. Then I decided to have a burrito, so obviously I put it in two wraps as well. So straight away, off the rice and the wraps alone, we're looking at like five, 600 calories straight away. And then we have the meat and the other ingredients. This is a very filling meal. It's not a meal that I would say is low calorie filling or whatever. This is high calorie and filling. So this is a better alternative to something like McDonald's where they're just high calorie but they don't fill you up. I also did get a second can. So that also could be why I feel a little bit more full as well because fizzy drinks tend to kind of blow you up and they can be appetite suppressant. So having a big meal and a fizzy drink can definitely stop you feeling, feeling hungry. Yeah, overall I enjoyed that meal. I highly recommend it. Maybe only have one of the burritos. One of the burritos comes up to around 500 calories. So you could have one of those wraps and then just have like a whole bunch of veg on the side, like corn of the cob or something. Probably push you up to around 600 calories, but it's still being easy to fit into a day than having two. What is good people? Your boy has showered. I feel fresh. I did 25 minutes on my treadmill, showered. And now I'm back. I'm not actually that hungry, but I will have something to eat because I don't have much fruits. So I'm gonna have at least one apple and uh, about half a pack of these blueberries. Always remember as well to wash the fruits you get. Some people I see eat at the packet don't do that. But the other day I bought some raspberries and thank God I double washed it for whatever reason. And a fucking spider that was a fair size, like that big. Just like crawling around, I was like, thank God, because I was about to eat, and just something in my head just said, yo, give it another wash, and I did, and that spider leaked out. All right, folks, we're gonna have something nice and simple. We're gonna have chicken and chips, but not like from the takeaway store. So I've got two things that need to be in by today, which is two of my muscle food chicken sticks. Each one of these sticks is roughly around 18 grams of protein. So I'll stay six grams of protein right there. And we are going to have it with sweet potato fries, which I got from Asda. I will say these ones from Asda taste really good. Um, each pack of these sweet potato fries, they're lightly, lightly, lightly seasoned, but they taste really good. They taste better than the one I got from Lidl. The one I got from Lidl had like this weird kind of powdery taste on top of it, so it didn't taste that good. Half a packet of this is roughly around 280 calories, so it is probably better if you actually get a real sweet potato and do it yourself and just cook it that way. But if you're in a rush, I would recommend these from Asda. Uh, the chicken sticks, as you know, these are from Muscle Food, so all I have to do is literally take these out, put them in the microwave for about a minute and a half, and they are going to be cooked. This is a very fast recipe. This is why I, this is why I buy at least like 30 of these every single month. It's simply because I keep them in the fridge, and there's always going to be some point in the week where I just feel a bit tired, I just can't be able to cook a meal. All I have to do is use these. I'm a fan of white potatoes as well, or red potatoes. Virtually any potato is fine, like you don't have to, for example, have sweet. I just prefer sweet potatoes. So yes, whatever preference you like. Like too many people get obsessed with like, for example, thinking they have to have brown rice. No, you can have regular white rice. You don't have to, have to, have to go for the most complex carb every single meal. At the end of the day, calories in versus calories out. I will say, before the day is done, we are definitely going to be busting open this biscoff. I've been looking at this all day, so I'm definitely going to break out a little bit of this. It's a nice little tree. I like, I like the taste of Biscoff. It's really, really... I even like said it. Everybody loves Biscoff. I don't know. If you don't like Biscoff, comment down below. I'd like to know if there's a human on Earth that doesn't like Biscoff. All right, folks. I've heated up the, um, the, the chicken. The super sour fries is just finished from the air fryer. And I also decided to put on a corn cob just because I like the taste of corn cobs. Oh, in case you don't actually know, the chicken sticks I was talking about all they are is pre-seasoned chicken breast that I get from most food frozen and I just defrost them as and when. That should do me right now because if I'm being honest, I'm still semi-full from those burritos. They were so good. 